this is gonna be a little bit different. This time, my goals are not self-centered. We're gonna pray for other people, and we're also gonna bring God's vision to life. Okay, I'm all for having Bible before breakfast, but today we're having bagels and Bible because I'm starving. I'm so hungry, not only for the word, but for food. So bear with me, we're gonna make a bagel real quick and then we're gonna go read the Bible. I'm gonna continue to read Genesis, that's what I'm on. I'm reading about Abraham. Hearing a lot of it through different sermons that I'm listening throughout the week. And I even heard it in my church last Sunday. Um, they just touched on it a little bit. So I feel like it's really relative to where I'm at right now. Just kind of God leading me um, with a promise that he said was promised to me, but you know, just in the waiting season. Before every Bible study, and I mean every Bible study, I always pray. I ask God to just open up my mind and my heart in that moment to teach me whatever he wants to show me, whether it's a new chapter that I'm reading or one that I'm continuing on. And then I'm doing my highlighting and my journaling and sometimes I add in the Psalms or Proverbs in the middle of it. I feel like if I don't do lists in 30 minute intervals, then I don't get anything done. So here I am making the list just for my day and then getting into my emails for a good hour or so until I begin something that's a little bit more off the mind and working with my hands by cleaning up the house which is always nice, a different way of worship where I get to listen to sermons and listen to worship music and just talk to God. I'm just gonna set it in here. I always say that gardening and working out is a cure-all for my anxiety, my depression, my anger, whatever I'm going through that moment, every time I lean on that, it just does the trick. But what really does the trick is actually reading the word. And one of my favorite verses is Matthew 6, 25 through 34. It's a long one, so I encourage you to take some time to read on your own. But what I am going to grab from it is lines 31 to 34. And it says, so don't worry saying, what will I eat? What will I drink? Or what will I wear? For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But first seek out his kingdom, his righteousness, and all these things will be provided for you. Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Okay fam, we are going to Target. Come along with me, we're gonna go get a prayer board. This is gonna be my first prayer board. I've done so many vision boards. I almost do one every year, but this is gonna be a little bit different. This time, my goals are not self-centered. We're gonna pray for other people, and we're also gonna bring God's vision to life. So we're gonna pull a lot of the dreams that I've been having for this year, and we're gonna add it to this board, and we're gonna work on this together. summertime it calls for summer dresses and I'm in the market for modest ones so I went to Marshall's to see what flowy long girly dresses they had that I could wear to Sunday church or any events that we go to throughout the summer so here is a list of the ones I tried first one up this blue tealish one was so cute it was lightweight it was flowy it had pockets but I didn't grab it the pink one was a so-so, I just didn't really like how it fit on me. Even though the fabric was really light, you could tell that it was breathable, it was a no. This one was really cute, I felt like it was just a little bit more drapey and the turtleneck after a while, it will get to me, I know it. But this was the winner. I felt like I was in Bridgerton or in Downton Abbey. It also has pockets, but I just felt elegant and beautiful in it.
I'm gonna take Charlie out for a walk at the same time. We're gonna do a prayer walk, so that way it sets ourselves up for success when we do our prayer board. That way we're aligned with God's vision and his plan and his guidance. And also at the same time, praying for others that are being put on our heart. So let's go on this walk. First and foremost, we need to get organized. I have so many loose notes, sticky notes. I even have great verses and scripture that's hidden away in my journal. And so when it's out of sight, out of mind, it's not really helpful for me. So I wanna create battle cards. We're gonna take our index cards, add a verse or scripture on the front, and then a prayer to God in the back. This is gonna be a living board. So don't get so pressured into thinking that you have to complete it that first night that you started it. More of just great daily reminders of God's promises and your prayers and your relationship with Him. So let's pull some of these verses that I have to the side and create these battle cards as a beginning. And then the next couple of weeks, I'll create a, another video where I'll have the whole board complete and where I'm at up to date. <laughs> 